If you are experiencing connected but no internet access issue on a Windows machine, first thing you should try is to restart your device. Go to Start menu and on the Power option, select Restart. Keep in mind, Shutdown and Restart do slightly two different things on Windows devices. So I would recommend that you try Restart and see if that fix your internet network access issue. Next thing you should do is to inspect the physical network. Make sure that your device is properly connected to the network. If it is Wi-Fi, maybe try disconnecting and reconnecting to the Wi-Fi network and see if that fix the issue. If it is a wired connection, make sure all the wired connectors are properly inserted and working. Inspect your modem, router, any access points or switches to ensure that they are properly working. Reboot those devices and see if that fix the issue. Typically, rebooting a modem may fix something like this if it is the modem that causing the issue. Another thing that I recommend people do is to directly connect a device such as a laptop to your ISP modem after the modem has been rebooted and see if you get an internet connection. If you don't, maybe the issue is with your ISP. At that point, you will be contacting your ISP for help. You can run the network troubleshooter. To access that, there's two ways to get there. One is to right click on your network icon on the system tray and select diagnose network problems and that will open up your network troubleshooter. It looks like this. Another way to access that is to go to start, select settings and under system, go to troubleshoot. In here, select other troubleshooters and select network and internet option called run right here, the run button, click on it and it'll open the same network troubleshooter. So you can access either through the system settings or through right clicking here and selecting diagnose network problem. And then run the network test and it will give you some helpful hints maybe why you do not have internet. In this virtual machine that I have two network connections so if I select the other one that is not working, it shows there is no DSCP server found. And that is a clue why that network is not working. So this is a useful tool to figure out at least if it doesn't fix it for you, what's wrong with your network. So if the network something wrong with it, when you run a restart adapter, for example, it gives you option to do that. It'll restart your adapter and try to resolve that issue. So that's another tool that you can use to try to resolve your network connectivity issue. Another thing you can try is to reset TCP, IP, stack and DNS. To do that, click on start menu, type CMD to open command prompt. And then we will enter few commands to get the TCP IP stack reset as well as the DNS reset. The first one we can try is the net sh win sock reset and press enter. It'll go ahead and reset the Windows uh, socket API. Another one you can try is net sh int ip reset and what that will do, it will reset the TCP IP settings. And another one you can try uh, is IP config slash release and an IP config slash renew. 
and press enter what that will do it will renew your IP address by reaching back to the DHCP server and requesting a new IP for your device and another one you can try is IP config slash flush DNS what that will do it will clear the DNS cache and that may resolve your internet connection issues you can confirm and update network adapter settings to do that on Windows search type control panel open control panel and open network and internet open view network status and task and select and open the network connection and on the general tab of the network connection select properties in here for most home users make sure IPv4 is enabled and for some internet connections you may also need IPv6 enabled in either situations make sure the IPv4 and IPv6 properties are set according to your local area network configurations for most home users both of these two should be set automatically for IP and automatically for DNS however if for whatever reason your network connection is still not working especially for home users on the IPv4 properties change the DNS from obtain DNS server address automatically to use the following DNS server address and maybe try a public DNS such as the Google COD 8 and COD 4 options and see if that resolve your network connection because obtain DNS server address automatically means it is obtaining the DNS information either from your ISP through the settings within your ISP modem or it is obtaining DNS according to the DNS server configuration within your router but you can override that here by selecting this option and trying out a public DNS such as COD8 or COD4 from the Google that may sometimes resolve network connection issues out onto the internet you can also try to update your network adapter to do that go to your start menu type device and open your device manager find your network adapter select it right click select update driver and select search automatically for drivers however in most cases this option not going to find any driver updates so another thing you should be doing is find which network adapter you have go to the internet and look for that network adapters drivers download the drivers then again come back to the device manager right click update device driver and select browse my computer for drivers and then select the driver files and update it through that way sometimes a simple update to your network driver firmware will resolve your internet connectivity issues another thing you can try is to disable your proxy on Windows 11 machine Microsoft made proxy detection automatic you can change that you can go to the start menu select settings under settings select network and internet select proxy and make sure automatically detect settings turned off because sometimes this automatic detection of proxy could cause network connectivity issues for most users you do not need the proxy detection if you have metered connection enabled it may cause you to lose internet access if you do not need that go to the start menu select settings go to network and internet select ethernet and make sure metered connection is turned off 
because sometimes if you turn on the metered connection if you are using a lot of bandwidth it may result in your network internet access being disabled by windows because you have accidentally may have set a limit to your network usage another thing you should check is your network profile type to do that go to start select settings select network and internet select ethernet and under network you should have two options private network and public network you can switch between these two and see if that will resolve the issue typically Microsoft recommend that you have public network set up but you can also switch to private network and see if that would resolve the issue that you are having finally if nothing else work you can try resetting your network to do that go to start select settings select network and internet select advanced network settings and from here network reset right here click on that and then you will have the option reset now and in here you can say yes and it will start resetting your network it will reboot your device like basically it will shut down and then it will reset for yourself however this should be the last thing that you should do if nothing else that i mentioned before did not work and that's everything for today until next time make sure to thumbs up this video and subscribe my channel and have a nice day